my experience with Mega Man 1. So Mega Man 1 has like less characters to go up against. And uh, some stages in here are fun, others are absolute dick bags. Like take this bit for example, this is something a casual would not understand with these platforms and how difficult they are. Also this bit in Iceman stage with the, with the random platforms also fucking exists. Easily one of the worst bits of the game is the fucking YOLO DEVIL! Also again, you can defeat bosses if they have their respective weakness or, you know, by other strats. Also, this clone battle really fucking sucks because he copies everything you do. Also, the music slaps, but Dr. Wily a bitch. Mega Man 2's opening is so damn fire. My short experience with Mega Man 2. So doing the bosses in Mega Man 2 are not that bad if you have their respective weakness. If not, it's gonna be a bit. Also, make sure you equip Bubble Man's ability for that alien because holy fuck he's powerful. Also check out our Arcus TM for more cool and interesting videos like this. So also the OST for Mega Man goes fucking My experience with Mega Man 3. So, I'm playing through this, right? The boss battles in the beginning, the first eight Robo Masters are literally just fine for me. I, I didn't have a problem with any of them. Also, I don't have a problem with Breakman coming into these stages and you fight him as like sort of mini boss. I don't have a problem with that. I actually think that's pretty damn cool. This is where my problem with Mega Man 3 comes in. So you're telling me after all eight Robo Masters, you then have to deal with almost pretty much all the Robo Masters from Mega Man 2 in one robot, but in four separate stages. Why? And then stacked on top of that, you fight Breakman again. <laughs> Get this, and then six Dr. Wily Sages stacked on top of all that. Fuck that shit, I'm done with Mega Man 3. Nope, we're not playing that shit. N goodbye. My re-experience with Mega Man 3. Okay, so my initial issue with Mega Man 3 was these guys, and on top of that, Proto Man and the Wily Stages. So I'm going to talk about these guys first here. I'm going to be honest, going back and dealing with Doc Robot wasn't really that bad. In my honest opinion, it wasn't that bad. That bad to deal with all these guys. Sure, it's Mega Man 2's boss battles being thrown at you all over again. Two, pop, two per four of these missions, but it's not that bad. Oh, well, Proto Man slash Breakman. Breakman is not bad. Okay, now here we are with the six Dr. Wily stages. So I also made another complaint that there's six Dr. Wily stages. And I'm going to be honest, all of them are short as hell. So the heck, even Yellow Devil version 2, you know, Yellow Devil comes back and he's not even as bad. I know, fighting the eight Robo Masters every single second to last Wily Tower is fucking annoying. Like, if you do this, this Wily phase here is not shit. And I know people are saying Gamma is something in this fight. Sure, like... Just use Rush, like, Jet to get up to the top of the platform. Just spam, uh, that creep snake looking dude. You know, like, get, yeah, get up there and then look. You'll see for yourself. Use the snake ability over and over on Wily and you'll die, dude. Just go for the sound if it hits. You know what I mean? And Wily, like, Wily and Gamma Machine is over. He's done. Also, Proto Man's theme for the end uh, credits, you know, the credits, the staff credits for Mega Man 3 is absolutely goaded, and Mega Man 3 is an alright game. It's not shit like I've made it out to be in the first, my experience with this. This, this, this game. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, I'm, I'm very shit on my words, as you guys know. My experience with Mega Man 4. Now, Bright Man, like, wasn't bad, but I swear, like, when he stops you, pretty much, like, Flash Stopper and shit, it's pretty tough to kind of move around him, to be honest with you, dude. Okay, I just want to say, Toad Man is an absolute disgrace. Uh, Drill Man can be annoying, because, like, you never know, like, which part of the ground he's gonna come out of, but other than that, he does massive damage. For no fucking reason. And I know there's methods of using your charge shot against Pyro Man, but dude, when you use like or, like when you use Flash Stopper, and you have to mash the shit out of the the fucking um 
shoot button when you use the mash. Man is easily one of the most annoying Robo Masters I have ever had to go up against, and I mean that shit. And I'm telling you why he's really annoying because those damn rings fly across the entirety of the map and stage. So, like, literally, he just threw that shit. It goes all the way there. And look at some of this shit. Look at the ring. Look how it's going, man. I fucking hate you. Now, my boy Dustman. Dustman isn't that bad. I'm gonna be honest. Dustman was really chill. Diveman. Diveman? I don't think Dive Man was necessarily annoying. I'm Speaking of which, Skull Man. Skull Man's actually kind of cool. This moth thing did sort of piss me off, but that's okay. Bosses are going to piss me off in Mega Man anyway. But this thing, I absolutely say screw you to, because trying to hit it is fucking annoying, man. Oh, my. And this thing can go to hell as well. Like, dude, screw these things, man. They sucked. Dr. Kosak wasn't that bad. This thing was annoying though, I can tell you that much. So was this guy. This guy was also pretty damn annoying. Even with the ring ability, very annoying to get through. This thing just fucking sucks. Like really, that's all I gotta say. This thing just is trash. Hell, I'd argue phase two is worse because you have to literally use the crash bomb in the right way in order to beat that fucking thing. Holy shit. By far, Wily final boss with Mega Man 4 with the darkness stuff and you can only hit him with Pyro Man's ability. This effing sucks. This is Mega Man 4 is a pretty alright game. It's not the worst game in the world in my opinion. My experience with Mega Man 5. I just want to say the OST for Mega Man 5 is pretty alright. I like it. Starman wasn't that bad to be honest. All you need to do is charge shot him a bunch and you're good. Stone Man wasn't that bad either to be honest with you. Stone Man was just pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He's based off a train. All he does is charge and ram you. It's it's a little weird that- Oh, where do I start with Crystal Man being one of the stronger Robo Masters in this game where he jumps a lot all the time? A Wave Man was pretty cool- pretty alright. This guy out by using Mega Buster, but there's also other ways to take him out. Gravity Man fucking sucks. I hate the angle you have to be in with the Starman ability to fuck this dude over. You can also use Mega Buster and Slash. This is Nepal Man. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head, but this guy sucked too. Yeah, but this dude kind of sucked. Use the uh, Wave Man's ability to beat him quick. Yeah, so um, this it's it's because of the Proto Man stages. You're telling me four Proto Man stages and then four Dr. Wily stages. At first, I was like, this is bullshit, I'm done, I'm not playing, I'm suffering through burnout because I was suffering through burnout. But then a part of me today came back and decided, fuck Proto Man, I'm gonna beat his stages. And this guy fucking sucked, man. I hated to this guy just sucked because he can freeze you in place and shit. And it was ass. I hated this fucking fight. He's just stunning him over and over, the dude, shadow dude in the footage. But I struggled with this fight a lot, and this is what I meant. That dude right there is the one who does the barrier shit and pushes it away. And I guess that's real Proto Man, but I'm just saying, real Proto Man a G. By the way, the dude that's fucking with these dudes is fake Proto Man. What the fuck? It's like, oh, go figure. Wiley always is the villain. This, this, this boss just pissed me off because you have to shoot these things to figure that out. Who is gonna figure that out in their right mind? Who was on their very first play? Absolutely, this thing can go fuck itself, man. Do not trust the platforms on this fucking boss fight. They fucking suck. Or he stomps out and you have to shoot his head with a charge shot or a regular pellet. This shit is easy as all hell, man. Thing shooting the blue balls and the missiles over and over and over again, taking large chunks of your HP, really fucking sucked, man. Oh, and then final Wily. So if you remember Mega Man uh, 4 with the darkness shit, this is pretty much that again, but way easier. I'm gonna be honest, but this boss was still kind of crazy to fucking fight against. And 5 really pissed me off at the ending with the Proto Man stages and Wily stages having 4-4 four, four each. And to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to play Mega Man 5 again. Just because it just kind of felt meh, you know what I mean? It didn't feel like Mega Man 2 to me or something. But this is one of Mega Man's best lifting feats, holding Wily's castle down. Easily one of the best feats classic Mega Man's ever had. Also, Proto Man coming in for the save. G fucking stats, man. Proto Man's a goddamn G. 
My experience with Mega Man 6. By the way, this tile screen's badass. Also, Rush Armor is peak. Same with the Jet Rush Armor, which, aka the jet where you fly, that's also really sick. Uh, my bad. Also, Blizzard Man here is also really cool. By the way, some most of the bosses in this game are pretty A-OK. -okay. Well, this boss for me was a pain in the ass, but I know for a lot of others it wasn't. Also, really wanted to say, Mr. X isn't shit. Screw this goddamn dragon! Now, y'all know it's tradition that fucking Wily is always a bitch in every Mega Man game. Also, the OST for 6 fucking slap. Hey, Mega Man 6 is goaded as fuck. Also, Ramsor, you're a G. My ex my experience with Mega Man 7. I, I gotta say, it's tradition in every Mega Man, my experience. The, the, OS the OST is goaded. Also, this is the game where they introduce bass. Also, I had no idea you could fight Proto Man in Mega Man 7, but that's fucking cool, and the boss, for the most part, were just fine. All I gotta say is bass round 1 sucked. Bass round 2 also fucking sucked. Also, this turtle thing is just a dickhead. Also, this boss scared the fuck out of me. Now, this part of Dr. Wily isn't that bad. But single-handedly, the hardest shit I've ever dealt with in a video game was Dr. Wily's final phase in Mega Man 7, which was a bastard and took me all night to do. Also, Mega Man about to put an end to Wily was really fucking scary, yo. Like, he was really about to be on that life, but he fucking hesitated, which good shit, Mega Man, for hesitating. The fucking end credits for Mega Man 7 is beyond fucking goaded. I love this OST. It's under fucking ra- my experience with Mega Man 8. Also, this opening is pretty darn long, but it's also really darn good. I love the animation in it and everything about it. Bro, seeing these two otherworldly robots clashing to each other like this is really, and I mean really strange. Also, my comments on the voice acting. Like, sure, it's bad, but I kind of dig it. I don't know why, but I kinda dig the voice acting, even if it is really bad. Yeah, I'ma be straight up, the intro stage of this game isn't that bad. Same with its boss fight, it, it's super fucking easy. Just charge out a shell and then just shoot inside, it's not even that hard. Dude, this character select theme is easily some of the best in the entirety of the Mega Man series so far, and I've only played up to 8 so far. And all I have to say is literally the character select theme goes so fucking hard. It feels like you're in outer space and shit, and I know that- Also, go to Dr. Uh, you know, Dr. Light shit to get repairs and upgrades to your Mega Buster and all that other sort of stuff, or just- I'M GRENADE MAN! Dude, I love Grenade Man, man. Now, I don't really tread too much on talking about the stages because I want the videos to be short as fuck, but- because actually, Grenade Man stage isn't hard, or isn't even that bad for that matter. Heck, even this weird, trash-looking, junk man-looking mid-boss, or junk eye boss I think it's a reference to Junk Man, I'm not sure, but even this was pretty fun. I'm sorry, but just watch Grenade Man go, for some reason- it's just so fun hearing his voice like you can charge on him if you want That's pretty much what you have to do so for the most part you start on uh, On solid ground for the most part. Yes, you do have rush and your different shots that you can change and equip to um, But yeah, basically like it does start on the ground But then you get to shit like this on the snowboard bro And let me tell you something it gets faster and faster and it gets harder and harder to react, and obviously this is the easy part, but later on it gets way harder with this jump and slide stuff that Mega Man has to do and stuff, and it, it gets a little crazy. Also, another thing I want to add to the Frostman section is stages in this game are actually longer than previous uh, Mega Man games, so stages are actually, like, you know, longer like I just said. Oh, and if you have Grenades Man's ability, you can bitch the fuck out of Frostman. Hold on, my nigga's coming, just give him a second. Dude, his voice is just so fun. Tangu Man. I'm thinking of it. Like, why does he sound like that? Dude, I'm sorry. I, I just think it's funny. I just pretty, like... It, it definitely will, will remind you of Air Man a little bit, and how his stage works. Also, you do get this flying section with Rush, and I think that is kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie to you. Also, this weird bubble segment where you don't want to get popped by the spikes, too, which is funny, in a way. I don't know why they have this section in here, but 
it, even though it doesn't relate to Tengu Man type theming at all, in a weird way. Dude, I'm sorry, but Tengu Man, basically he flies around the stage, you gotta hit him with that ice shit, like quick. Cause he doesn't just stay on the ground, you can charge shot him too as well. Clown Man! Like, that does not sound like a clown. You know, when I was thinking of Cloud Man, which carnivals do interact with goofy toys and all that other sort of stuff, his stage is fun. This mini boss, though, did take me a little bit to get behind and beat. Because, you know, this is my first time playing Mega Man 8. But other than that, yeah. Also, love the little nod to Gutsman, Iceman, and other Robo Masters as toys. See the little toys? Pretty cool. Clown, are you like a. Oh shit. Yeah, basically, this is really how you end the fight so quickly. Like, literally, this clown can just get looped over and over again. This weird robot shows up and shit. Like, they talk for a bit. It's so weird. They talk about this energy and how e this evil thing is. It's a whole damn thing. I'm gonna count this as duo stage because, like, you have this new stage and everything that's based off of... Not him specifically, but, like, it's like this random ruins that he, like, goes into and you kind of have to play through this stage to kind of make it to him. Which, duo himself is actually pretty damn strong. I am not even gonna lie. I struggled a bit on duo. Because, obviously, I suck at the game and shit and I didn't know his weakness or anything and what you should be doing to him. Oh, when I heard my fucking boy, dude, come in, Proto Man, are you alright, brother? Proto Man. You know, and they have this dialogue, and this nigga's like, fuck this. And then he talks about how he's at Dr. Wily's place and shit, and, and our Mega Man's like, nah, I, be, 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 be. and it, it turns to a whole thing. But Proto Man, you're fucking sick, dude. They like cutscene where Dr. Wily shit. Like, that is kind of cool, and then they talk about how... Mega Man, I can't break I can't break the force field in there. You're gonna have to go get the other eight Robo Masters and all that other sort of shit. Swordman stage. Also, he looks cool. Now Swordsman stage starts off normal, but you enter this temple. And you do these puzzles, like five, six different types of puzzles, and his stage just goes on forever, man. I mean, even look at this mid-boss that you have to shoot in the fucking middle point. It gets pretty difficult after a bit, but, you know, your explosion can easily take it out. Honestly, just use Water Balloon and Swordman goes down super quickly. I'm Searchman! Yeah, Searchman stage. Honestly, Searchman stage is really not that bad. Yeah, and his boss fight was really easy. Just use Flame Sword and... You know, you can find him quickly, and he'll just burn to death. Like, I'm not joking. He'll really just... Oh, Astro Man, I got a lot to say about you. I know, by the way, the, 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 the this level really starts with just a normal-ass section with just invisible going platforms. But this maze stuff, I'm telling you, boys, I kept going around in circles because I didn't understand how to get through it. I had to look up a guide. But so does the sand pit bit, you know, where you have to do it. And then another one of these bits. And you guessed it, another maze section, which you guys totally know I love when I'm getting mazed on, you know? Ha! Uh, uh. Astro Man himself is a fucking joke. Just use, uh. Homing Sniper, you know, whatever the fuck Mega Man has for this that you get from Search Man and literally just fucking loop him over and over and over. I won't lie, a lot of this was on that damn board again. And I'm gonna be honest, I am not a fucking fan of it. Like, this board stuff, this board section, not a, not the biggest fan of it. Also, I just wanna say this, screw using the Mega Ball on this fucking guy, man. This guy sucked. But yeah, for like a bit of this level, it does start out normal. But then we get to this auto-scrolling bullshit, where you have to be on, uh, raw- Oh my god, my camera quality, bro. I don't know what's going on with it right now, but we get on Rush, and we have to deal with all this auto-scrolling shit, man. Not the funnest thing ever. Oh, especially this bit with the close, like, little baby- Look, look at this shit, look at this, look at- Look at that! You have barely any time to move out of that! I remember I fucking died a few times! 
Also, this fucking thing. I don't know what the hell this giant robot thing was. It was really weird, but it's definitely a fucking boss, all right? And it definitely was get. It definitely was pretty hard after a few fucking hits. Oh my god, when he throws these little ball things, just avoid them. Avoid them best you can. I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking horseshit. So in this stage, you're just doing your usual platforming for the beginning portion of this stage anyway. And this is where I fucking cried, because y'all know how ba base was in Mega Man 7. He was fucking hard and he had multiple different fights, but surprisingly, he only had one fight in this game. One fight. And this is it. And let me tell you, this boss was not as bad as Mega Man 7's variants, in my opinion. Like, actually, they took a chill pill with this, and I'm, I'm, it's funny for me to say that, but usually I really hate fighting base, but he, he wasn't too bad. Ah, it isn't a Mega Man game without fighting the Yellow Devil. By the way, this Yellow Devil as well, like, isn't as bad, but, um, just saying, it's kind of, it goes kind of crazy. So I don't have to tell you what you have to do here, you already know, y'all have to fight the Robo Master, by the way, this is Wily Stage 4, you fight all the ro all 8 Robo Masters of this game again. By the way, Duo coming in for the save for Mega Man is just G stuff, man, I kinda like Duo, he kinda grew on me. Bro, when I heard Proto Man's theme, I was like, wait, what the fuck? Why is he fighting Duo, bro? And then Duo and him win, and then Mega Man were like, let's finish this shit. All right, Dr. Wily. By the way, in general, his first phase isn't that bad. Just use Flame Sword and you're good. Wily in his second phase, you can use the bombs. Um, but I, you can also use Charge Shot if you have the Times 5 Charge Shot as well. Um, from 13 years ago on this fucking shit. Just letting y'all know. I, I'm just gonna say this. Dr. Wily phase 2 just wasn't that bad. Okay, I'm lying. He was pretty fucking tough. So actually, after Wily uh, Stage 4, we get a long-ass cutscene between Mega Man, Duo, and shit. Like, Duo gonna heal Mega Man of his evil and all that stuff. By the way, Duo's cool, dude. But, uh, I just wanted to add this on, so, as well. And, um, I have one more thing to say. All I gotta say is, Proto Man's just a goddamn G. And you know what? For saving Mega Man from the dark energy, Duo, you're also a goddamn G. And that's my experience with Mega Man 8, motherfucker. My experience with Mega Man and Bass or Bass. So another thing is you get to you get to play as Mega Man or Bass or Bass. The intro stage was pretty all right. Yo, look at my boy Proto Man back at it again, talking to this nigga King, the new King of Robo Masters of something. I don't know. Oh yeah, look at this shit. Yeah. Now you might be thinking I was pissed off fighting the Yellow Devil, but no, he's actually pretty easy in the beginning of this game. No cap. Frickin' Cold Man, bro. Cold Man stage wasn't that bad. Well, I mean, well, for me, since it is my first time, it kinda was and wasn't at the same time. This mid boss is just alright. Now, Frost Man or, or Cold Man, all you need is your charge shot. Just charge shot, hit him over and over and over until he's dead. Also, screw that fucking cloud. Fucking Burner Man. Screw this guy. Fuck this insta kill fire, man. In Burner Man stage. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> and Burner Man himself with his weakness is so effing trash. Especially on my first playthrough, which took me over an hour to beat him. Pirate Man stage. Uh, you know, Pirate Man stage mostly underwater and stuff. Not not too shabby. Also, giant whales coming out of nowhere, really big fuck you. Yeah, but using Burner Man against Pirate Man, dude, this fight is like pretty easy in comparison to Burner Man. Like, holy crap, I'm actually really happy about that. Can the other Robo Masters be like that? Also, Mega Man getting ability in this game actually sounds really cool. And I really like the look. Like, look at Mega Man rocking pink and black. Like, he rocking that shit, bro. Ground Man stage. Now, Ground Man stage did really annoy me until I got to this part with the multiple different, you know, shoot these weird gargoyle looking statue things. Other than that, Ground Man was sort of annoying. You know, to be honest, I don't even know why Tangle Man's even fucking back in Mega Man and base. Looks like they didn't have enough Robo Masters already. You know, I know this shit's an auto scroller, which is not super Omega weird in Mega Man, but this stage did have a, like an asshole moment with the balloons, but other than me dying at least once or twice, I got through it. But I hate this part of the stage and the next bit coming up here in Tengu Man's stage with the multiple enemies coming out the walls. It wasn't that bad. If you know what to do anyway, but if you don't, he's kind of a bitch. But just use the sped drill and you'll go down real quick. I was so happy to find Magic Man as a Robo Master. 
Honestly, I love Magic Man's stage a lot because it just... His theme is so magical, get it? Because he's magic and he does magic tricks and stuff. It, it's kind of cool that his stage... Magic Man himself will go down with the Tenzu, bl uh, Tenzu Blade like really quick. Oh, Astro Man is back! Fuck it out. A lot of people brought up this bit, and I'm gonna be honest, it is not that bad. Bit of this stage was obviously the Yoko blocks, and y'all know how much I hate those fucking Yoko blocks. Astro Man himself just hit him with them fucking card ability, and you're good. You know, Dynamo Man, I was like, I laughed a little bit at him because he looks like a fucking Toy Story character, bro. His belt's a lot of enemies. Jeez, wow. Dynamo Man stage was super fun. You can tell by my voice that I'm really intrigued by this stage. Like, this yes, he does. This is the Robo Master that I'm talking about that regenerates himself, which is a bitch, and also use Sea Vision to kind of fuck him over. This bit here is where you just do a bunch of little mini puzzles and then grab yourself some bolts right before you enter King's Palace. Figure this out, you do not go to King's Palace. Dead ass. King's Palace Stage 1, baby. This stage was fucking annoying. That's all I'm gonna say about King Stage 1. I hated the fuck out of this stage. Oh, and the boss fight for Stage 1 is no different. I hate the fuck out of this one. King Stage 2, baby. Hey, if you thought the other one sucked, this one sucks more. So you fight this massive thing, which was a pain in the ass to do if you don't have a lot of thunder and other abilities on your on your car on your person. Oh, and easily one of the worst bits in the entire fucking game is you fight this thing, which has a fist attack that immediately breaks the platforms Mega Man is trying to cross. And if you don't know what to do, you're fucking fucked, man. Oh, and don't even get me started on trying to fight King with this goddamn shield, which has lasers that shoot you and take a lot of your goddamn HP. Sorry for camera issues. Dude, my fucking boy came in. Proto Man, my boy. Yo, shit! Fuck. Okay. King, which he was obviously a douchebag. Just use Burner Man at the top of his head to kill this boss. All the Robo Masters weren't gonna come back. They did. I can't even cap this part. This fight, this phase one of Wily was fucking trash. I hated doing this. Oh, and fuck it, he's in another capsule, which easily makes this more of a pain in the ass. He just kind of feels like a repeat of Mega Man 5, to be honest. Literally, after you beat this game with Mega Man, he is literally questioning life. Like, why the fuck am I even doing this? Why the fuck was Mega Man in base even made? My final thoughts on Mega Man in base. To be honest with y'all, again. Like I said at the, why was it even made? Y'all can just skip Mega Man and Base. Mega Man and Base just isn't really worth uh, your time. Because you're not really missing much. But anyways, um, if you guys really did enjoy my Omega compilation of all my, my experiences with Mega Man 1 to Mega Man and Base, leave a like. Also subscribe. It, it means a lot. There was a lot of editing that went into this big ass video and a lot of weeks spent playing Mega Man trying to even finish this video up in the first place took a very long time and yeah that's that's it um leave a comment what your favorite Mega Man game is um I hope I inspired you to maybe play Mega Man and uh yeah I hope all y'all have a great great day because I sure as hell know I am oh and one more thing yes I will be playing the X series and uh, aka Mega Man X, um, I will be playing Mega Man Zero series, uh, I'm also gonna go with Mega Man 9, 10, 11 at a later date in terms of, uh, basically other Mega Man games are gonna be at a later date, alright, Merry Christmas, I love y'all, it's not Christmas, bye.